A Chopper 5 flew above students walking out of class to demonstrate against the controversial parental rights and education bill. WPTV News Channel 5's Brianna Nesperal is live outside a Delray Beach High School with the message students have for the governor. Brianna. Hey Shannon, yeah, it's not only making an impact in Tallahassee, but also here in Palm Beach County. Now this walkout was one of the first ones here locally. It's one of the examples of some of the backlash that has come on the heels of this bill currently headed to the governor's desk. Students at Atlantic High School in Delray Beach left class early Thursday afternoon to send a message to the governor. Don't pass the controversial parental rights and education bill. It's dehumanizing. Like, we're not animals. We deserve to have rights. We deserve to be talked about. Sophomore Aaliyah Barbancourt organizing the protest with their partner. We did this together. Over 40 students participated, carrying signs and waving flags. Aaliyah says their principal followed the students in a golf cart. Um, at first I thought we were going to have to turn around and go back to class, and then we didn't. A bunch of people started following us, and they started chanting with us. As the bill heads to the governor, bill sponsors say it gives parents more legal authority about what their child is learning in school. It's upsetting to see that they're not allowing us to talk about our identities in classrooms. I mean, isn't that what class is for, to learn? Some state lawmakers applauded students for using their voice as the battle over the bill continues in Tallahassee. I don't want to grow up in a community where people are scared to talk about who they are. I don't want to have to be scared to talk about who I am. Gay is not a bad word and we should be saying gay. gay is not a bad word. Aaliyah tells me they plan to send a letter to Governor DeSantis asking him to veto this bill. Now, I reached out to the Palm Beach County School District. They said they are waiting to see if Governor DeSantis will sign the bill. They say if he does, they will follow the direction of the Department of Education while continuing to maintain a safe and welcoming learning environment for its students. I also spoke to Delray Beach City Commissioner Ryan Boylston. He says the city should be proud of these young adults for standing up against legislation that threatens the pursuit of LGBTQ acceptance and inclusion in our schools. Reporting live in Delray Beach, I'm Brianna Nusbra, WPTV News Channel 5.